On this episode of The Turnbuckle, Logan Paul is called out as part of a massive crypto scam. Lacey Evans is blasted on Instagram for posting a conspiracy theory video about ADD and autism. And Biggie reveals when he will know when he will be able to return in the ring. Folks, we're hitting your favorite wrestling movie with some wrestling news because it's time for The Turnbuckle. <laughs> Coin Edition has a report that exposed Paul's crypto zoo game is nothing more than a scam. Paul's quote fun game claimed to enable users to earn money. However, users were left with nothing more than stock images of zoo animals after millions of dollars in investor money. A YouTuber by the name of CoffeeZilla spent the past year investigating Paul for a three-part docuseries. He asked one of the victims, Helicopter Bob, who lost $7,000 on a crypto zoo, if the passive yield ever worked for him and if he made any money. Apparently, it never worked. It never worked from the beginning. It wasn't even written into the contract where it showed if you could yield with zoo, but there was no way to claim your yield. There never was. CoffeeZilla investigated the scandal and, apparently, Logan Paul blamed the developer of the game for its failure. Paul states that the developer created a code and then ran off with it to Switzerland and wouldn't return it unless the YouTuber paid him one million dollars. CoffeeZilla shared that due to Logan Paul's influence, people spent millions. People bought two and a half million dollars worth of eggs on the first day and the game wasn't even launched yet. CoffeeZilla then called Logan Paul's manager, Jeffrey Levin, who replied to the crypto investigators with a no comment response. Furthermore, CoffeeZilla claims that both Levin and Paul refused to present any evidence or even give feedback on the issues with CryptoZoo. So this is the beautiful thing about um, being a little YouTube gremlin that I am. And I feel like there's a lot of people out there that know Logan Paul from way back in the days of vine okay but i mean when he was on vine it wasn't really that much of an issue right but when he ended up on youtube that's when he kind of started to let his uh his wings spread out a little bit him and his brother okay as soon as they got that disney money all right they started acting a little bit funky okay started going a little bit kooky I, I remember way it was like 2018 2019 he did it with somebody else they did like a cs go lotto thing and then do you remember back in like 2020 when he was going through this weird pokemon phase where he kept buying a bunch of like pokemon boxes and then he was getting all these like verified pokemon um like car dealers and stuff like that to like be with him while he like opened the box and everything like that and all this sort of crazy stuff so like this is not the first time that logan paul has like gone on record to be like hey wait a second you know so it does this doesn't surprise me at all okay and if anything this should remind you that listen he's great in the ring all right he's an absolutely talented in ring competitor and he's really talented on the mic and he can hold himself with the best of them but okay that doesn't take away from the fact that he's a very shifty guy very shifty and not every single word that comes out of his mouth is true okay so he's one of those people that you kind of got to keep your distance with a little bit you know you don't want to get too close to him because then something end might end up happening and you just buy my proxy might end might just end up getting caught in a crossfire so man i mean this doesn't surprise me there's nothing more to say other than yeah that checks out because it's logan paul hopefully eventually at some point he's going to come forward and have something to say about this i highly doubt it is going to be anything that is going to like fully get him out of the woods but he's gonna say i hope i hope for his sake he's gonna say something about this because if this gets any more serious and it starts getting a little bit more involved you can kiss that whole wwe thing goodbye so i mean but he still is impulsive but lord only knows how long that's gonna last before the sponsors start pulling out so we're just gonna have to i'm really curious to see how this is gonna unfold we're just gonna have to wait and see how this turns out so i mean until then we can really just sit here and wait next we're gonna be talking about lacey evans and how she bl and how she was blasted over controversial posts about autism and add conspiracy theories the former southern bell is no stranger to controversy this is also true judging by the most recent instagram story she shared evan shared a video of a conspiracy theory which was from quote criticalhealthnews.com the video in question features two men casting doubt on autism and ADD diagnosis numbers, claiming that the two developmental disabilities didn't exist before. Evans was called out for sharing this post and dragged hard. Eventually, the SmackDown superstar then took to Twitter and doubled down on what she had shared. She would end up deleting the tweet shortly after. I watched a video on the impact of processed food is having on our children and I shared the video. Y'all are insane. 
Side note, like everything else in life, headline is misleading. Watch the video. He literally says there has been huge difference in health since eating processed foods. Listen, I don't even know where to begin with this, okay? We're not even gonna talk about the ADD and autism conspiracy. I'm not even gonna touch that. That is all the way on a completely different island. If you wanna talk to someone about that, you're more than welcome to. The last thing that I'm gonna do is get political, okay? Unless I already have gotten political by accident. But I'm gonna do my best to not be as political as I possibly can on this show, okay? Listen, she is a army person. I don't know where she, I don't know what she does. I just know that she's in the army, okay? She, she fights for her, her country and everything. That's great. That doesn't take away from the fact that she is still separate from that. She's still a human being with like independent thought. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't like, it's the whole family thing. Oh, they're family. You're supposed to love them. No, just because they're related to me by blood. That first of all, that doesn't just negate the fact that they have stupid ways of thinking, right? Like dumb, Un unpopular opinions and it also doesn't mean that i have to like them like listen you're in the army that's great but that doesn't take away from the fact that what you're saying and what you're like believing in and what your opinions are that doesn't just mean that i'm just gonna ignore them and be like oh you're in the army i can't really say anything no this is probably just gonna blow over because it's not to be honest with you it's just like a really dumb take that somebody had right and you know, eventually, if she doesn't apologize for it, people are just going to forget about it. This is just a really tone deaf thing for her to say. And she shouldn't have shed. Uh, listen, she, this shouldn't have happened. I mean, I don't know. Like, nothing is stopping her from sharing it, right? Nothing is stopping her from sharing it and having these opinions. But obviously, these opinions are not. It, it doesn't help that, like, the, her opinion is based off of something that is just like just a wild take so man look i'm i'm sure that eventually this is gonna blow over that's my whole thing i just know for a fact that eventually we're just gonna not hear about this, this is probably the last time we're gonna talk about it so i mean lacy if you're watching this because i know you are i mean you know everybody's watching this all right maybe i don't know maybe when you're like watching it maybe you think to yourself how, like is this gonna be bad like if i put this up right is this gonna be bad and if you can't immediately answer no like within the first like five seconds maybe don't put it up that's just me finally biggie reveals when he will know about a possible wwe in-ring return the 36 year old revealed to the urban times that he will learn more about his return date in march 2023 the new day member is loved by fans so they're all hoping that his return is coming soon i have to get some more scans at the one year mark in march and then we'll see how everything's looking but we'll see from there biggie said yeah, I'm excited to return. My C1 is broken in two spots, so I obviously would be very smart about that. I was very fortunate, so I just want to make sure I'm making the best decision for myself, so we'll see in March. Now, if my calculations are correct, um, I don't think Royal Rumble is happening in March, so that rules them out for the Royal Rumble. That really sucks, but it is what it is, and we're just going to have to accept that. I would rather... It's like the uh, Jalen Hurts situation right now. I would rather keep Biggie out, right, than put him in earlier than he needs to be and risk a possible like exacerbation of the injury or a completely different injury around the same area which then exacerbates the injury anyway so i think that it's best if he just sort of stay and i i get the one year mark you know you want to wait an entire year and then see how he's doing and if he looks good then we can get a real frame of reference on when he could potentially be coming back it's not specifically saying hey uh the one year mark okay cool we're gonna look at your neck you're good to go like they're not specifically saying that and he's not specifically that's why he's saying we're gonna find out in march we're not i'm in march is not gonna come here and i'm just gonna be able to wrestle immediately like we're gonna figure out what's going on and then once we do then you know we're off to the races so what do we talk about logan paul's a scammer if anybody knows logan paul from youtube then this isn't a gigantic surprise for you uh lacey evans got blasted on instagram listen okay you are in the army that's awesome you still have a shit opinion and that i can't sit here and be like oh you're in the army so that means that all your opinions are valid no you can still have absolutely horrible takes on stuff. And just because you're in the army doesn't mean that your horrible takes are just going to be overlooked. No. And Biggie reveals when he will know about a possible in-ring return. We have to wait until March. I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't want him coming back any earlier than he needs to. And I don't want him coming back and potentially injuring himself. To potentially injuring himself further, you know, if you know, uh, if he's not ready to come back. So only time will tell when he actually does show up in the ring. And you know what? I'm okay with waiting, folks. That's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully everybody has a wonderful time. Night and a wonderful tomorrow as always big hugs big hugs all around